Welcome back. So what we're doing, as you can see, I've done some uh, um, building uh, off camera. Because um, you remember I spawned in so much stuff. Well, I had to take uh, go into first person. I possessed uh, a great many of these guys. And um, just had to manually take some time to um, do some building. Uh, and I don't know if you can see, but I lowered... Uh, I was getting a little bit of lag, and I think it's due to this geometry here, these outside plates, because I got so many of them, it was kind of slowing me down, so I put it on the low setting. Um, you can see some of those blocks that are supposed to be curved look kind of straight right here. See how they load on demand like that? Which I'm okay with. Um, it won't do it when I jump into first person. Uh, over here I was thinking, you know, build a garage over this guy. Um, so I parked him there. And then I might uh, do an overhang or something. Not a lot of external walls going on. Um, uh, I wanted to keep playing, but I had to. Uh, I got. I'm like on seven videos. I only have three uploaded at this point. Um, so everything takes time. So, I, but I wanted to keep going. So I figured I'd go ahead and do. I did some screen caps as I was building this and put it on my Steam screen caps uh, if you want to see some progress of that but there was nothing specific about the editor so um, and kind of this series is about how to combine uh, use the editor to cr create uh, scenarios and then uh, pop into these jokers and, uh, and then you're just basically first person uh, gaming really so I mean it's just exactly like being in the game um, and at this point you can just spawn again and you die in game and it's same here now these guys, if they died from hunger, I can jump in there and respawn them. But if it's oxygen, I have to delete them and, and spawn another character to use over there. But uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of been doing this, and I was thinking, you know, what, what do we? Uh, what else is there in uh, the editor that we haven't really talked about? I'm sure you guys have some ideas, or there's got to be somebody out there um, who knows more tricks and techniques in here just by discovering them because obviously there's not a lot of uh, documentation around um, so basically did you see how it's lagging when I turn like that there's like some kind of weird lag going on but not all the time so I'm not really sure what's doing what's rendering in to cause that and maybe it'd be better if I had everything on high uh, quality that way it, it's already rendered in once because right now as I walk Probably things are rendering in. Yeah, like right there. See, that's something weird. I'm thinking it's because of all this geometry. It doesn't help having the arm out like that. Because it seems to do it more when you have the arm out. So, I don't know. Maybe my technique of... Um, only having the arm on as I'm locking things in. I immediately kick it off. See how I kick it on there? Um, uh tripping on something so yeah the whole rotation thing people were having problems with like R does the free rotation and then the alt R does just horizontal so I don't know I inadvertently found that out I think I don't even think I read that anywhere but yeah let's just see what we got I'll go ahead and uh, tour around let me do that in the free cam uh, let me slow down my movement by using the scroll wheel Okay, so I figured out how to do an upstairs inside. And I had to use a glitch to do it, which was pretty cool. Because I was always like, you know, how do I do an upstairs? None of these wall pieces um, accommodate a bend to where you can hang a floor in here. So I did this. I hovered over with one of these uh, pylons, and it, it glitched straight through to the floor. And I have one underneath going to the ground. I have this one and this one. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, theoretically, I could put another one up there and could have kept going, but I'm just this uh, building, and I don't even know if the stairs are staying right here, but I wanted to uh, get up there, and then I said, well, I'll just put a character to jump into on every level so I can just, you know, possess each one when I need to get in that area. But, yeah, so I have stairs going upstairs in here. Now, some of the prefabs have weird upstairs they use floor panels at an angle you can't pull them apart or anything they're like permanent so I can't use that technique there are a couple of ramps I noticed uh, in the um let's just go oops I didn't want to do that 
jumped into some random dude. Okay, like right over here, let me just show you something. I thought this was pretty cool, and I might, um, see, space bar, get your, the, the GUI back up. I'm going to right click here, to hold because that's my spawn spot now. I can actually use my cursor. Too bad this uh, exclamation point doesn't stay there, and just the mouse moves, because it, it kind of freaks you out. But uh, I noticed in here, where was it at? Was it in the prefabs? Like way down somewhere I found ramps and stuff. Um, and they were actual ramps. Not that one with the railing that doesn't snap on anything. But there was... Okay, now maybe I'm in the wrong area here. Let's go here. Create. Lat. Big construction. There was some... Like little ramp... Oh, wait a minute. It said... It was in a category... Man, I can't remember where it was at. Was it here? Base building. Oh. Yeah, base. Connector. Cross. Cross? Let's see what that is. Holy hell. Oh, it's a it's a cross section. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to delete it, but... And you better delete it while it's still highlighted as one unit, or you have to delete every piece. That's actually quite cool. Hmm. What if I can... See, the thing is, these don't snap to, so I can't just, like, go snapping on a door. I notice they don't snap, but see, it's still highlighted. You can see at the bottom there that, that window's up, so I can hit the delete key and get rid of it. Anyway, I just want to check that out. That's not my, uh, what I was originally looking for. Oh, so we got garages, uh, decompression chambers. I might have to check into these. That's not what I was thinking, though. It was something else. Concrete ramp is what it was. Man, where, where the hell was that at? Yeah, I don't think it's in this one. This category. Because uh, I've been working out of that one. It's in one of these other... What's in here? Um, no. Unbelievable. Okay, we got water level. Uh, scenario targets. It's not in here. Is it in... No, I'm thinking it's got to be in one of these. And I had scrolled way down. Crate, folding tables, shelves. I don't know what a beagle is. Um, stones, mountains. Um, darn it. They need to make this a little easier to search, and maybe Icon would be cool, like Space Engineers. I think I've said that a hundred times. Um, I don't need any trees. Oh, wait. Yeah, here we go. Ramp. So, it's under Static Objects, and you got uh, Floor Pieces, Interiors. Something seemed weird about some of these when I put them in. It's almost like I couldn't use them. So, I don't know if how this works if if I can actually build with this but you can't manipulate them in game so anyway this ramp I thought was pretty cool I mean look at that I mean you can put that in, a, in inside but there's not another one so I think this is like a loading dock maybe because there's this concrete block thing somewhere in here I found it's a big giant concrete um, I haven't tried to build on it or anything but I thought that was pretty cool they got some pretty cool stuff in here um, they got other ramps. They're just, uh, I think, smaller. Yeah, so there's just not another piece to go up. Like, you know, I keep saying space engineers where they would have that second ramp. But, uh, yeah, this wouldn't actually be high enough to go upstairs inside. But I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what else we got in here? We got steps. But that, I think, is the same as the other one, except it's a, I think it's a different color. See how it's... I think it's like permanent. You can't pick it up and move it or anything. So if I was building something, and I guess that's why they call it static. Get rid of that. Now I could see having a static ramp because, you know, why not? But uh, yeah, they got some pretty cool stuff down in here. Um, but you can't manipulate them in game, which really kind of bugs me out. So they got buildings. Um... So if you're going to make scenarios and stuff, airlock opposite, but that, you know, 
I could use these ideas. Where were we? we? I think it was right here, where I spawned in the the intersection. Uh, see, now I lost it. Oh, connector one and two. Uh, a cistern. Okay, well that's decompression chamber, living quarters, laboratories. So yeah, you can. I think these are non-manipulatable. I don't think I can uh, tear these apart and add to it. Maybe you can. Oh, what's that? That's it must be something that you know you, you step on it. Oh yeah, I did spawn this before. See, here's the ramp I was talking about. Well, we really can't do that, and I have yet to find these pillars. They got to be in there. Oh wait. This isn't exactly the one I came in, but it's similar because I tried to, evidently these are like water packets, I don't know what that is, I can't really select it, but um, these doors didn't work, so they look cool, you know, if you're going to start off a scenario, but if, if these doors worked, I don't want to have to delete it piece by piece, and, and you see, I will do something while it's selected, let me just show you something, see how it's in the ground? Well, if you right click here, you don't deselect it, but you can get your mouse back. And then you can go down here and raise and lower. I think Z, Z is the up and down. Yeah, there you go. See how you can do that? Well, I couldn't pop a door on here. Um, it was, um, I mean, I can still delete it. But yeah, so I came in and tried in another world. See how these pieces, these holes look painted on? Well, that I was like, wait a minute, that's kind of weird, because if I go over here, um these actually have pieces in them although yeah so it's kind of weird these actually have the the spikes so you can you can build with them but this one here I, I would have used this if I could use this building I would have totally have used it but uh, yeah you can't add a door to this so it's kind of goofy I'm not really sure and I, I know it's new and all that but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that real quick there we go. Because, um, like I said, I did it before. It, it's pretty cool, though. I mean, what do we got? Greenhouse. I think it already has trees in it, which is kind of weird. Decompression chamber. Let's see what that is. All right, so that's just a basic uh, airlock kind of situation like we already did. But these doors, they don't work. I, I already tried to open one, and I'm not really sure what this little thing is. Is it something where you walk on and the door automatically opens? That would... Hmm, I guess I can... Let me place this one. Let me deselect it, I mean. Can I? No, you gotta deselect every damn piece. Damn it. Oh, maybe I can just spawn a... dude over here. And check it out real quick. Let's do that. Let's spawn a guy. There, because now it's dese deselected. Uh, something looks weird over here, though. Look at the top of this thing. See how they're not lined up? I mean, what, what the hell are they thinking? It's like a piece dropped down or something. Anyway, let's um, jump in this dude, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, I don't know what that invisible... Or not invisible, but that, the block that was there. So, yeah, you can't, you can't manipulate this thing. So, this is kind of weird. Why they would put this in the game... I mean, look, pieces aren't matching up. I don't know why this would... I mean, it's obviously... Uh, I'm not even going to criticize. It's just kind of weird. So, now to delete it, you know, hit the space bar, get back into here. You have to actually left-click each freaking piece to get rid of it. But yeah, these are not game pieces. These are almost like you would um, find a, uh, a broken... Oh, okay, so that's what that is. Weird that it... Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Um, I guess I can get rid of this guy. I don't want to leave him way out here by himself. Anyway, so they, there's a lot of interesting pieces in there that um, I don't want to use. Um, because I can't manipulate them. It's first person, so it's kind of weird. Um, uh, left click selects it. Left click hold. You can pick it up. I'm going to drop this up here. Left click to deselect. And spacebar. See, 
Those should be falling right there. We go. I guess I have to get close to them. All right. Well, as you can see, it drops a whole bunch of these everywhere. But I need them up here, so I might as well put them up here. There we go. Um, I don't know if I need this big window. I might put it in the ceiling somewhere. These are all my ceiling parts. Um, I should put those up there, actually. Well, first, let me get a little closer. It's easier to manipulate because they, no matter what you do, they stay. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. I forgot you could do that. I could pick a whole damn stack up. So yeah, so that's why I did a lot of building off camera because <laughs> I noticed I was, uh, I did record it, but I was like, oh my God, I forgot to say something. I forgot to explain things. I'm hitting keys and not telling anybody what the hell key I'm hitting. So it was kind of, you know, stupid. And plus it was to every, um, you know, I've been kind of going, I set it to 124. So by the time it gets dark, that's how I keep track of how long I've been going. Um, but uh, yeah. So I gotta get walls up and then ceilings up. So I'm gonna be walking around these things, so I may have to jam some of those up. So as far, you know, I don't know. There's not a lot here for to cover. Um, but I know the more geometry you use, and I guess I could get rid of this. I don't really need this over here. So we'll go ahead and get rid of some of this. I was kind of using it to judge the height that I needed inside and at first and I was like okay I'll look I'll line up the inside floor of this building to this floor um, but you can't put a door attached to these um, external plates and then link it into the door yet I haven't discovered out how to do that that would be really cool is if you could enter this building from the top floor. I haven't figured out how to do it. I might be able to jerry-rig. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I could put some kind of door here and then just jam one of these uh, little squares like I did here. You could see that it kind of glitches into the wall, that last little one there. So maybe I could do something like that and still have a door, but it would have to be an airlock. So I, I need a, two doors and a gapper, kind of like that one down there. So if I just had a gapper, yeah, I'll have to look into that. I might do that. Um, connecting, that might be another trick that we might need to talk about. I need to put a bunch of railings on. That's going to take a bunch of time. I'll spawn about 100 of those babies in. Um, you definitely want railings. I don't know how many times I've taken a dive backing up while I'm lifting a bunch of stuff. Um, it's, man, this game has a lot of awesome potential. I really love it. Um, as you remember, I started with that little building down there, and then coincidentally, the outside plate went right over the top of it. I was like, oh, well, obviously I have to uh, use that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you know, so some of these videos are just going to be of me first person building. I mean, I have to be able to... Uh, put the pieces together so I'm gonna jump back into this guy um, and start building man putting all these pieces together again and I don't know if people want to uh, I mean I know people when they do a search for editor information you're gonna get some but it's almost like you have to um, it's gonna be just regular gameplay too I'm, I mean instead of just having a let's play God, I don't know how many hours I have of actually playing and I threw away about I don't even 100 gig of recordings because the let's play at first I was uh, not speaking at all which is cool I've played many a game I mean obviously I wanted to um, play the character it's kind of a role play kind of situation so I mean if I was on Mars by myself I sure the hell wouldn't be talking but in this uh, instance um, lag lag why can I not what was that damn lag See, it doesn't do it all the time. I think it's 
walking and turning, so maybe I shouldn't... I'm trying to limit myself. Figure out the best way... Okay, hide the gun. Yeah, see, it's lagging right now. I don't know if it's because I got something selected or highlighted. No, because it ain't doing it right now. Yeah, really weird. It's just one of those things. But it is alpha or pre-alpha or whatever it is. Oh, maybe it's beta now. I can't remember. But it is awesome, and I, I love this game. I still do uh, Space Engineers. It's funny. I got like 3,000 hours of Space Engineers and not one freaking video on my on my YouTube channel. It's pretty weird. And I've got epic builds. I might have to go back through and um, put some of those together. I mean, I know I recorded them. Um, I got some stuff on my Steam workshop. But... Oops, I shouldn't have put that one there. Because i got to put a curve here. It looks like a flat. Oh, wow. Is it getting dark already? What the heck? All right, well. I told myself I would just, um, you know, work for a day. Be about 20, 30 minutes. Um, best way to take, uh, keep control of the, or uh, keep track of the time is the sun. So anyway, I'll throw a couple of these in. I did do some work in the dark. I kind of like working at night, too. I thought maybe working at night would uh, help lag. I mean, there's always night vision. Or I could just reset it with that trick I showed you, but I, I kind of didn't want to do that. That way I can uh, keep track of my time better. So, yeah. So what did we accomplish today? Nothing. Talk a little about this and that. We saw some things that were, you know, I pointed out that section that have um, the stagnant objects. But I think what I'm going to do in a, my next uh, video will just be mostly first person because i got to hang some of this stuff. I mean, I got, how am I going to get stuff built if I don't actually do the manual stuff? So let's see, do those guys have body heat? Is that a dude right there? No, where's the dude? Oh, there's a dude. No, I don't see him. Yeah, see, he's not showing up on my body heat, which is kind of weird. Anyway. Okay, so I'll catch you in the morning, and I will um, continue to do some building. I mean, uh, you know, a little... And just I'll just tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it, I guess. I mean, you can see what I'm doing, but you can't see the keys I'm holding. Um... I think by now we, we've got down the whole rotate the object, um, hide and show the tool, but I am not going to make this into an actual scenario yet, because there's no, um, nothing you have to go out and do at this point. Um, if nothing else, it's just uh, babbling about the editor and how to use it with uh, first person. So, yeah. See you in the next one.